Welcome to the J Crazy News Headlines. Now before I go into the news further, today news, I wanna say to dancer artist Shakespeare Dandala and his family condolences and also his son to illness. Now his son who is Dimitri Damari Dyer died because of health issues and illness. Now however the type of illness wasn't actually outlined by the artist. But based on information, his son died because of an illness. Now, as a parent, one of the most sad and terrible thing as a parent or appearance parents is to lose your child or to a farm. But losing a child or your children, trust me, is very horrible as a parent. And only a parent can actually feel that to lose a part of you. Your child is a part of you. When you lose your child, if you're not careful, you lose yourself, you lose your soul. It's like losing the next half of you. As I said before, to dance an artist, Shakespeare, Dandada, condolences. And to his son, may his soul rest in peace. Now we head towards Kingston and St. Andrew where the body of an unsound nine man was found in Dela Creek Park early this morning. 38 year old Kemar Barrett of St. Peter's Square in housing scheme was found by residents in a pool of blood. He had injuries to his head and his upper body. Now his body was removed by the police for post mortem. Now his body was removed to KPH where it was pronounced or confirmed dead at the hospital. Now on the scene, the police remove two 9mm spent shells. So that means uh, he was shot and killed by unknown assailants. A man who is unsound in the community was found murdered in Dela Creek Park this morning around 6.38 a.m. The police are investigating. Now we head towards the parish of St. Elizabeth where 65 year old Wayville Levy of Hampstead Red Bank District in St. Bess has been charged with abduction and burglary of a female. Now on December 19, Mr. Levy actually kidnapped a female and assaulted her. 65 year old Levy, Mr. Levy, kidnapped a female and a soldier. This big old greyback, useless, no good for nothing, of a human excuse. Who should be not looking to go to prison is now being charged and will face prison time. Now, after the female was actually assaulted by Mr. Levy, she reported matter to Blackwell Police. After which, Mr. Levy turned himself in. Now his court date is yet to be finalized. Now my viewers and subscribers, something serious wrong with most of the men in this country. Or should I say only a small few. You kidnap a young lady and you assault her. What is wrong with some of these men in this country? I believe some of these men in this country, they are mentally disturbed. They are mentally disturbed in every direction, in every angle. 65 year old man looking forward to go to actual prison and face prison time. It seems as if these men are doing these things purposefully. Is what? No longer prison for free food? and three course a meal every day that's what you actually aspire to do now get to the men in this country some of you it's like you don't care or like you know that you freedom over foolishness over things where you should not do big adult can be anyone's grandpa or great grandpa 
looking to go to prison now to assault a female. This man, I'm convinced, is mentally disturbed. I need to be evaluated. Can't be a sane man doing these things. Has to be a mentally disturbed man. But you know what? I hope he gets life in prison. Now this part of the video is actually an update what transpired last night or should I say yesterday evening when a bar owner who is Tiana Ewart of St. Thomas, Seaford St. Thomas. The video this morning, they will go in depth but I tell you the details of what transpired yesterday evening when she was killed by a lone gunman. So basically, Miss Tiana Ewart or is called Tuki was at a bar around 6.45 p.m. yesterday evening when a lone gunman came into the bar and demanded money. Now a struggle ensued between Tiana and the lone gunman after which a shot was heard. Sad to say Tiana received shots to her head. That lone gunman escaped on foot. Now to my viewers and my subscribers and those who are new watching this video at this moment. You see how dirty, you see how barefaced, you see how evil and wicked these criminal elements are in this country. Tiana is only 30 years of age and she have her own bar, have her own business and the serpent come into the bar, call her up, a struggle in soul, basically she a fight back and this long gun man in all his evilness put a shot to her head. This hurt me to the core morning, noon and night that persons in this country who are business minded may have a little bar, a little shop, a little restaurant but you have a business a try and criminal elements merciful father criminal elements prey on business owners in this country them can make you survive or try and when them come in they want to take your life and steal the things like you and them work fit it is so sad 30 years of age Tiana life was taken by an old demonic element from hell people of Jamaica this is sad. This spell worries in our country. That criminals are allowed to do as them please and get away with it. Laws have to be tightened. Criminals have to face harsher judgment in this country. As if laws are not tight to the point where they can squeeze the balls and the necks of criminals in this country called Jamaica, they now go stop. We need a sturdy leader in this country called Jamaica. A no-nonsense leader who will hold criminals by the neck and squeeze the life out of them. Things have to change. It is time we start putting fear into the hearts and minds of criminals. That they should think twice before they take a life. This is joke thing beyond joke. To the family of Tiana, condolences and may her soul rest in peace. Now to my viewers and my subscribers, if you have been following the videos I have done on the events occurring in Spanish Town between last year to this year, you will see we have exposed a lot of criminals and the crime that they have done. And one particular criminal I've exposed in your videos is Bala on your screen right now. Now if you are following my videos, you will see where I've actually outlined that Bala was a trigger man behind the death of Wandan, who was once his friend. But the party that happened on Homestead were actually shut up by gunmen and Wandan was murdered. 
Yes. Bala was a trigger man. And after which, I'm in this video where Bala packed up and leave Spanish Town and went to a country area to actually cool out. It has been confirmed that Bala is behind bars right now at the Spanish Town police station lockup. However, he has not been officially charged for any crime so far, but he is in lockup at the Spanish Town police station. Now, I believe that Bala got a call from one other gang and then tell him say turn himself in that's what they did to Wasino they told Wasi to turn himself in and he's now in police lockup and charged for the murder of Seanette White now they do the same thing to Bala remember I told you that Bala is actually under the one other gang system He's a dance Bobby Lane in Spanish Town and he works under one other gang system. So I wouldn't be surprised if one other call him and say, listen, turn yourself in right now to the police because they don't want the light to be shined on their organization. So remember, you know, Bala was used by one other gang to launch attack in Homestead where one Dan was murdered. Remember, Big Head and one other gang is at war right now and based on information they want fellas turf as I said before Bala was sent to launch attack on that party by one other gang the less people I'll actually give you more updates as this matter develops this is J Chris News once again until then bless up yeah man, I'm here as a black legend. I'm here represent for J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. So watch, like, comment, subscribe, and share out the thing. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. J Crazy YouTube reviewing channel. In review news and entertainment. Celebrity lifestyle movements as well. J Crazy not play with him, I review the thing then. Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy Reviewing news, entertainment and celebrity lifestyle Review the thing them, review the thing them Check crazy